This is Randy Velker with Technophobics Anonymous. Uh, today we're going to be looking a little bit at uh, an important skill on how to cut and paste, how to take things from one document, move them over and put them in another document. Now these, uh, this is a useful skill that is transferable um, among all different uh, computer programs. And once you learn this, you'll have a whole world of opportunities uh, at, your, uh, at your fingers. Now let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Alright, looking here, <clears throat> I have opened up on my window here a window with the first act and the first scene from uh, Macbeth's play, Shakespeare's Macbeth. Um, well, what, first thing I want to teach you how to do is how to highlight some text. What you do is you take your cursor, uh, again you're using your mouse, you take your cursor to one end of it and you left click down and then you drag over top of the word and you'll notice that the word is highlighted. Um, uh, you'll, and once it's highlighted, now you can do things with that text. All right, it's highlighted. The things that you can do with it uh, include you can delete it. Um, if you hit the delete button right now, that will, it will just disappear. Or you can use your right button and over the highlighted text, you right click. Right? And it gives you some uh, options that you know, if it's a misspelled word there. Um, you can ignore those. And now I'm going to go back over there and highlight it again and right click. Now these are the options that I'm looking for. Um, I can cut that word, in other words, I just delete it, I'd cut it right out of there, or I can copy it. Uh, let me go ahead and left click on the copy. So now what I've done is I've copied the word Macbeth and uh, it is in the memory, it's, or it's called a clipboard. Right? So the Word Macbeth is now in the clipboard. It's still sitting here on this text, as, on this document as well. Um, I've opened up another window uh, just behind it so you can see. Um, and my cursor, I can move back and forth between the two different windows. But uh, in this new window, I'm going to right click and it gives me the options that I have. And what I want to do is I want to paste what is already in my clipboard right into this document, Macbeth. And I can do the same thing. Uh, again with act number one. So I want to highlight, first of all, I go to one side of it and left click and drag over it. Now I can stop at any letter if I wanted to. All right? um, now I can also start from the, from the left side and uh, left click and drag over to the right. All right. Now I can drag much more than this. I can go down a seam, excuse me, down a row and it will highlight that whole row. Go down two rows, it will highlight all that. As far as I want to go, it will highlight the whole thing. And then on that last row, I can go to the exact letter that I want uh, the highlighting to be done. Let's say I want that whole batch uh, to be highlighted. Now what I'll do is I will, again, right click somewhere where it's highlighted, and I'm going to copy that. And I'll come over here to this side, and I'll put my cursor where I want to uh, paste that whole amount that's on the clipboard and I'll paste it right here. All right? So now we have um, Beth and then we have Act 1, Scene 1 moving down through uh, the second witch's um, conversation here. Now um, the other thing that I can do is I can um, with highlighting words, I'll highlight everything that I've done over here Right, starting at the bottom right and dragging up and then unclicking. Once it's all highlighted, I right click it and I can cut it. Right, now I've deleted that whole thing. Right? And this is a way to clean up um, a whole document very easily. Um, this editing is going to be very, very helpful for you guys as you're taking information from one program to another program. It helps you from having to retype a lot of information as well. Um, one of the things that I can do is I can start at the top left and um, drag it down to the to the bottom uh, bottom right and let go of it now everything in that whole document is now highlighted right? you can see that now if i right click on that and copy it uh, i'll come over to the the empty document that i have over here again right click and wherever that cursor is i'm going to paste all of it in there and now the whole document has been copied all right from top to bottom all right Macbeth. Uh, so these are two identical documents now Beth, Act 1, Scene 1, and Act 1, Scene 1. Uh, now what I can do over on this document to clean it up, I can go from the very top uh, down to the very bottom, like I did before, and uh, let up on the cursor. Uh, and then uh, what I want to do this time is I want, there's another option here called Cut. Okay? 
So I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut it. Uh, what it does is it removes it from this document. Now I can take it somewhere else and insert it. Now, if I wanted, again, I can put it right back in there just by hitting paste. Right? Because remember, when you cut something, uh, it is put into the clipboard, and that clipboard then is waiting for you to take it somewhere and to place it in. It'll stay in that clipboard until you um, put something else in the clipboard on top of that one. Right? And then uh, the one that you uh, co copied on top of is no longer in there. So it holds one thing in the clipboard at a time. Uh, <clears throat> so play around with this. Copy and paste, cut and paste. Uh, another skill that I wanted to teach you uh, here real quick is how to edit um, a specific word. All right, so what I want to do is I want to go into Macbeth here on the, in the first window, and I put my cursor where I want to, and I use the delete button. If I hit the delete button, it deletes the letter just to the right of it. All right, see how that? I want to type it back in there. So I have Macbeth. Now I'll put my cursor back in there right after the B. So the delete button will take out the letter just to the right of uh, where your cursor is. I put my cursor back in there, and I want to delete the letter to the left of where my cursor is, I hit the backspace button. It will delete it right out of there. Right. Uh, now, I'll, I'll go ahead and paste those back in again. Uh, Beth. All right. uh, if I want to put some words or letters in that very space where the cursor is, right, uh, I can just go ahead and type those letters right there. I'm going to put um, 777 in there so you can see what it, what it looks like. It goes right in there. Now, obviously, that's it, that's a mistake. It's not going to be in there, so I can backspace those right out of there. If I wanted to overwrite these three letters, E T H, right, what I would have to do, uh, I can delete them, you know, with the delete button, and then retype in new numbers, or I can hit the insert button, right, which I just did, and then I can put uh, um, Mac Boone. I'm going to put O O N in there. O O and it overwrote those three letters. All right, so if I hit the insert button again, all right, um, I'll go back here. It now has allowed me back uh, into uh, inserting things as opposed to overwriting things. So the insert button is used to toggle on and off the insert uh, option that you have here. And now what you're going to need to do, uh, now delete works the same all the time, backspace works the same all the time, but if you want to insert things, your, the standard configuration is that you will be able to insert things between letters. Uh, if you want to overwrite letters, you have to toggle that insert button, hit that insert button once, and then, once, and then you'll be able to overwrite what's there. Um, so uh, you can insert your cursor wherever you want simply by clicking between the two letters wherever they are. I want to put it between the S and the C in scene one. I just go there and click, and my cursor's there. Now I can start deleting, I can start backspacing, I can start highlighting from that point in order to cut and paste or in order to copy and paste. Um, now this is a very useful skill, and it's, it's transferable among all the different documents, uh, among all the different programs. Uh, and you're going uh, <laughs> to find this a tremendous help. If this isn't a skill that you've had before, you're gonna, it will open up worlds of possibilities to you. Um, okay, uh, thanks for your time. We'll see you next time.